Tada! Yeah, Tada Dola Master Mino Canalina. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're old and welcome if this is your first time ever watching. So, today, I'm going to be reacting to the Isi Lao quarterfinal three songs in order as they come in Isi Lao. This week the songs were not able to be leaked. Oops. Um, and so I haven't got, got the chance to listen to any of them yet. I've kept myself blind this week. And so I'll be reacting the whole way through Eastila live and obviously editing it down significantly so this video is not an hour long. Um, but I'm interested to see what acts are they going to be offering this week? Who's going to be good? Who's going to be bad? Who am I going to love? And who am I going to really just not like? And you know what? We'll see who the qualifiers are too. I've got my pen, I've got my paper and I'm going to see, you know, kind of what scores I give everyone out of 10 as they go. And yeah, I will join you back once the first song is starting. And so, I'll see you then. Okay, here we go. Um, Stefan is first. Stefan Hope. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of like the guitar in this. His voice is quite nice. It's got this kind of like country, but also like cinematic sound to it. It's very country. And country is not exactly my kind of style of music, I'll put that out there. This chorus though, it's quite nice. It's kind of powerful. It kind of hits hard. It kind of does feel a little bit generic though. Just, just a little bit. He's digging his own grave, you know. Classic. If this is symbolic of the death of hope, um, that's really sad. It's going to be like, Malo <laughs> This is okay. I don't dislike it. I just probably wouldn't listen to it. Like, it, it's not bad. It's kind of catchy, and I feel like I'll actually remember it. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay, how much do I like that? And what am I going to read it? I feel like... I feel like it's probably about six or seven? Six plus, I'll give it. Now we just kind of got to wait a bit. Okay, now we have Saving My Soul by Lulu. Music Saving My Soul by Delulu. Her voice is lovely. I kind of love this already. It's kind of like, okay. This is incredible so far. Give me a good chorus, give me a good chorus. This pre-chorus is a bit, oh nah, but I'm hoping for something good here. It's giving a Vici. It is very, very Vici-esque. I'm hoping that it's not one of the songs that has an incredible verse in it, meh chorus. I also love the male harmonies in it as well, they're so good. It's, it's kind of a vibe as well. Oh yes, high notes. I actually kind of love this. It's not what I expected from the chorus, but I'm, I'm kind of, it's growing on me during the song, which I think is good. Her vocals are incredible. Okay, you know what? Absolutely my winner so far. Absolutely. 8 plus, maybe 9. Like, high scores. High scores. Okay. Next up is Three Days Ago by someone who I forgot their name. Um, let's see, I'll appear now. Hello, my mango. Your mango. Vocals are great. Oh. This pre course is building to something great. Kind of a vibe yet again. Are we just having vibey music tonight? Like, is that the kind of plan? Oh, I want this to qualify so badly. Yes, for vocal capabilities. This feels slightly dated, a bit like in a good way. Like, it's kind of nostalgic in a new way. And this music is just kind of beautiful. Like, I love it. It's just beautiful. Build, build, build before the final chorus. Let's go. This could be my winner again. Like, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, I give that a nine. I love that. A favorite so far? Absolutely. This is better and better. I'm better this today. Okay, Elena is back. Or Elena. Um, she represented in 2018, I think, with some opera, and now 
Remedy. Dark Pop. Is this Belgium? Sorry. The music video is so tasteful. <laughs> Why is the music video giving me Semic vibes though? Again, it's kind of a vibey song. What is with tonight and vibey songs? It's nice, but it's not really gripping me. It's just kind of there. It's, it's like, it's really good, but it's at the minute. I wouldn't be listening to it. Ooh. Okay. Still, that's not enough to save it, is it? It didn't grip me. At all. I feel like I can give it like... A five, maybe? I won't be listening to it. I'll put it that way. Um, which is kind of sad. Okay, next up we have Take Me Home by someone whose name is going to come up on the screen now. Look at them. Lowry Pihla. There we go. Okay, some nice guitar. Okay, this is like... Vibes, but not vibey. Like the music video looks incredible, so tasteful, and his vocals also incredible. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. This sounds like the sort of song that would go to Sweden, but I love. Ah, I love those parts. It's a sort of song that's like simple but incredible at the same time. I'm hoping that it just doesn't grow off me as the song progresses though. Okay. It's a little meh. I liked it a lot more at the start and as it progressed it just kind of went downhill a bit for me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get, give it a four, f f five. F same as Remedy at the minute. I don't know, it just it started off really good and it just kind of went downhill from there, which isn't great. Sorry. Let me talk about it, supposedly is the next one. Um, this is, I guess, the typical, like, <laughs> we're bringing someone in who's not actually Estonian for Estonia. Let me just let's talk about it. It's literally called Let's Talk About. Where's the it? I already just don't really like this type of music. It's so meh. It's so bland. I give up. I just, I can't stand this. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's their voice, like the, uh, that kind of, or that kind of like almost whispery, like, I don't know, whatever way their voice goes, I just can't stand it. Okay, we're done. Um, yeah, what was that? What was that? Like, fair enough, but it's just very, very not me at all. Okay, we have Mary Lynn. That's familiar. She sang Million Samu, which was one of my favorite songs from 2020. And her voice is nice. Will this be in the same level as Million Samu for me though? Let's find out. It's a nice song, it's a nice piano ballad. Come on, go off on the course. Her voice is really powerful. It's very much okay. It's a, like, like, I like the progression with, you know, the beat behind this. The chorus falls a little bit flat for me. And I think it's probably just my taste. Um, like, it's okay. I don't love it. Like, I, I don't absolutely love it the way I could potentially. It's okay. It's not awful. Um, like, I like it, but I don't love it. You know what I mean? I like it, but I don't love it. Um, I guess five plus for me, potentially. Well, yeah. Okay, here we go for Champion by Anna Sahlin. Okay, we've kind of got this like self-important song. Leslie Roy, is this you? <laughs> the chorus is just like, bop, you, you want a bop? Let's give you a bop. Alas. It does have some good build to it. Um, I don't know what's going to happen after the next chorus. Will we get another bop drop? We'll find out. Also obsessed with the way Sony invites champion. Bop. The courses are great. It's purple. I just don't know how much I like it. Ooh. 
A coral part? Okay, coral bridge. Classic. Classic. Okay, so supposedly she represented Estonia in 2002. So 20 years later, she's back in the Still Owl. The song is okay. It's okay. I give it a six, I guess. Okay, next up is Alabama Watchdog with Move On. I'm not, I'm not excited for this. Again, rock is not my kind of music, so understandably, I haven't been looking forward to this song. It's so meh. It's so meh. It's so bland. Like. Are they okay? Because this song is giving nothing. I'm just not in any way into this. I guess that's a good thing, no? Like, really. Yeah, it's meh. I give it a three. Because I don't like it. And I'm glad. Shira is last. So she rep, well, she was in East Lau two years ago, 2020, I believe, with the song Out in Space, which I loved. Hoping for something similar, but even better this year. Okay, Shira, underwater, let's go. Her voice, there's something so unique about it. We got another vibe song, and I'm happy. Okay. It's like, oh, it's like, very old fashioned, in a good way. It's just, it's so moody, and it's so dark at the same time. I just, I'm kind of obsessed with this music video. Why, I, I, I don't know why I just love this, but it's great. It's a vibe song, but it's a dark vibe song. That music video was impeccable. Impeccable. Wow. You know, that's getting a seven from me. That's getting a seven. It's my third. Um, and so, while we wait for voting, um, I'm gonna actually start editing this video because, you know, that's what we do here. Um, multitasking, you know? But yeah, that is all the time I have for today, guys. I wanna know who your favorites were from EC Lao quarterfinal three. Um, let me know your top in the comments down below. So excited. I am so excited. Um, this was quite a good one. There are, are a decent number of songs that I actually really liked. Um, so yeah, let me know which ones were your favourites in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all of that great stuff. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Be the